What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit 2024 for structural design. So we are now on creating dimension for our model. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go to the annotate tab and then from the annotate tab, you can see here dimension panel. And then here you can see all the tools that you can use to place dimension on your model. So one particular dimensioning tool that we will be using here is align tool okay so we are going to put dimension in this area here okay so i'm going to select the align tool or you can also go to your quick access toolbar and then select align dimension here so it's the same okay so i'm going to select align dimension and then i'm going to make sure here that on my options bar uh, wall center lines is selected and then pick individual references is selected here okay so now i'm going to pick series of um, grids to place the dimension so i'm going to click starting this one all right to place the dimension so you just need to click continuously all right and then after you're done dimensioning so you just need to click outside so make sure you are not clicking any elements to avoid placing another dimension so make sure it's blank area so i'm going to place it that's it click and then after that modify all right so now let's say for example what i want to do i want to place an overall dimension here so to do that again i'm going to select a line dimension so let's click that and then i want to click 0.5 grid up to 6 grid okay and then after that, I'm just going to move my pointer below until it snaps. Okay. And then after that, just click outside and just select modify to terminate it. Okay. Let me just cancel this. Right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the type of dimension that I have here. So let's say I'm going to change this one. So let me click this. And then here on my properties, I'm going to click the drop down here so as you can see one of the option that I have here is baseline so let's say I want to convert this dimension this basic dimension to a baseline dimensioning so I can do that by clicking baseline so let's click that and there you go so it's now converted to a baseline dimension so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to delete the overall dimension that I just placed a while ago to tidy up my uh, dimensioning so let's click this and then let's delete that all right and then i'm going to click this dimension here the baseline dimension and then i'm going to hover my pointer and then i'm going to drag that to tidy up my dimensioning and then i'll just click outside so if just to give you an idea how did that baseline dimensioning type was created so this is how you do it so i'm going to select Align dimension, all right? So as you can see, this is my current type. So linear dimension style, arrow, 332 area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I want to create my own dimension style. So to do that, I'm going to select edit type, right? And then I'm going to duplicate that one. So let's duplicate this and then let's customize this one. So let's say I'll just put a name here, custom dimension dash let's say same size 3 over 32 of an inch let's say the font is calibri and then i'll select ok now here on my graphics one of the option here is dimension or one of the parameter here is dimension string type so currently it is set to continuous so that's why we can create a continuous dimension using the first type of dimension style that we used a while ago which is this one because the setting of this is set to continuous so now since we created a new type so i want a baseline so by the way let me rename this one i want to add a baseline here so custom uh, baseline dimension okay now, I want to change the dimension string type. So, let's click the drop-down arrow and then let's look for baseline. That's it. And you can also modify the other parameters that 
you uh, we have here on the type property so you can explore this how it will affect your dimension style but in my case I'm gonna change the font here okay since I name it Calibri so let's look for Calibri you can type to search it there you go and then I want to change the color so let me go back here and then change the color let's say to cyan okay and then let's say I want that to be bold and then italic and then I'll select here okay so that's it I just created my own dimension style so look what will happen so let's try to do it here for example so I'm gonna click this one two click again there you go right so automatically it becomes baseline and then just click outside right so let's say this one here so click 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 and then after that just click outside there you go and then I'll select here modify so that's how you do it okay so that's how you create your uh, own dimension style all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this one I don't need this I just show you how to create a dimension style so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select again my align dimension and then I'll change the type to arrow 332 aerial let's click that one and then let me just click from here so I want to place a continuous type of dimension in this area here then just click outside and then I want to put an overall dimension so let's click this one click and then move down until it snaps and then just click outside there you go now let's say for example uh, by the way don't forget to escape twice to terminate the tool so let's say for example you want to add an angle here angle dimension so from the annotate tab so there is radial dimension here okay so radial dimension so let's click this one sorry not angle but uh, radial or diameter dimension so I'm gonna select radial and then I can click this and then after that just click outside okay so if you want to know the diameter because this is radius so let's go back again to annotate so this time let's try diameter so let's click that and then let's click again the arc and there you go all right so maybe I'm gonna put it like this one and then modify and then as you can see it's overlapping with another text right so I'm going to select this text here and then you can see there's a blue dot there you can hold your left click and then you can drag that like that okay and then just select here modify all right so let's say I want to create an opening dimension here all right so I'm gonna select aligned again so here on my options bar by default I selected wall center line so you can snap at the center but let's say for example you want to snap at the face this one face or this one face so how to do that just change this one so click the drop down and then I'll select wall faces and then let's say I want to snap to this face here one and then I'm going to pick another point two all right and then I'm going to select here to place the dimension there you go and then select here modify okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the dimension text click that and then click again it will open up the dimension text dialog box so here you can see the actual value you can actually change that with a text if you want replace with text so like this this is opening all right so we are replacing our actual value with a text so I select okay there you go so it's now change right but let me select it again and then click again and then I'll just use the actual value what I want to do is I want to modify the text field so you can add prefix suffix 
above text or below text. So let's say I want to place a below text. Like I'm going to put clear. Alright, and then I'll select here OK. So that's it. So there's the dimension and then there's the text. Okay, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise about uh, dimensioning. Again, you can go to the annotate and then you can explore, explore the other options here when it comes to dimensioning. Alright, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.